it was Rita Dove, and I think that was in the 90s, and I guess I was in college, and that's why I heard about it, and that was like the first one that, you know, I was alive, and she was alive, and it happened, and I was like, oh, okay, so that's the answer. Thank you for being brave. Uh, who are your favorite writers? Who are my favorite writers? That's a good question. Um, you know, like, if you really like music, you don't really have a favorite musician. You just kind of like obsess over different things. Like you're constantly finding new things and you obsess over them for a month and then you put it aside and you get something new. I'm like that with writing. The last time I had a favorite writer was um, J.D. Salinger, probably back in the 90s. My current favorite poet that I'm obsessed with is um, James Schuyler because I was telling people it was Frank O'Hara just because that seemed like a cool, like right when I became Poet Laureate, everybody was like, who's your favorite poet? And no one had ever asked me that before, like no one cares. And I was like, um, <clears throat> Frank O'Hara. Because I was like, well that sounds like good. That sounds like something you can say and people won't hate you too much. But I mean, I like Frank O'Hara okay. And so then I was like, well let me look up some of his poems if I'm gonna be telling people he's my favorite. Like let me pick my favorite, because that was the next question. Well which one's your favorite. And I'm like, the well, one about Lana Turner painting or whatever. Yeah. So I looked that up and then I found his best friend, James Schuyler. And then I became obsessed with James Schuyler. So I bought every single one of his books and I carry them around in my purse and I read them like constantly. So I guess I can safely say that right now, James Schuyler, J.D. Salinger. Um, I really like Margaret Atwood, but I didn't read her last book. Oh, I really like George Saunders. And when he comes to town in January, I will be stalking him. <laughs> so don't tell him though, don't kill the surprise. Don't kill the surprise. Any other questions? Because I'll walk away and it. Um, what's a good resource you can suggest to a young writer? Your best resource? For what? Young writer, young poet. You're asking me what is the best resource that I would suggest to a young writer slash young poet? But do you mean to get published or to find inspiration? Like a, to find inspiration and community. To find inspiration and community, the best resource. To find inspiration, the best resource for a young poet is a website called poets.org. You've probably heard of it. A lot of different kinds of poems are there and you can, like I would recommend this to anyone. If you just are like, I don't even know if I like poetry, I probably hate it, but I wanna know for sure. Go to poets.org and type in anything that you like. Like, oh, I like candy. It's candy. And then any poem that they have about candy will come up, and then you can read them and go, you know what? One of these actually didn't suck. Maybe I like poetry. Or maybe you won't. Whatever. So that's a good resource. Um, in Houston, I really think you should try to um, avail yourself. I think you should go to one of the many gazillions of open mics that we have. First Friday, hosted by Imprint in one of the Manil House area thingies, that's one. Um, public Poetry run by Miss Fran Sanders in conjunction with the library, that's another. I think you should go to open mic nights, and I know there's a, I know there's people sitting here who host other ones and they're just looking at me like, and she's gonna say mine, and I'm not, I'm sorry. But um, just go Google Houston Poetry open mic and go to one of those. Even if it's bad poetry, which sometimes it is, I think that should inspire you. Either you're gonna sit there and go, wow, I wish I could be cool like these people, or you're gonna say, man, these people suck. I could write better than this. And then you're gonna go home and furiously write, and then the next week when it comes on, you're gonna go up there and go, I, I don't even have the guts to read this. And that's gonna teach you a new lesson about yourself. So I, I would say that's the most inspiring thing you can do as a young writer. If you're already writing and you're not yet published and you want to be published, go read the stuff that's published and do the same thing. Either go, wow, I could never do this, or this sucks, I could do this. Just either way. Negative and positive. Use like a yin and yang approach. That's what I do. All right, now I'm walking away. Thank you for your, thank you for being brave, you two. Any other questions? She goes, it's over. <laughs>